Welcome back to MathMind. In today's video, we're looking at a Russian math question in which we are given a sum of a series of fractions with a common numerator. And our task is to figure out what is this unknown numerator that is common to each of the fractions. The first thing that we are going to do is to isolate the numerator A as the common term. So what we have is A multiplied by 1 over 3 plus 1 over 15 plus 1 over 35 plus 1 over 63 plus 1 over 99 plus 1 over 143 is equal to the right hand side of 12. We won't be able to use our calculator, so we have to look at the fraction series within this bracket to find a way to do some simplification. If we look at each individual fraction, we realize that there is some way to find a commonality. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, I have 1 over 3, which is equal to 1 over 1 times 3 which can be expressed as half of 1 over 1 minus 1 over 3. Likewise, for 1 over 5, I'm sorry, 1 over 15, I can express that as 1 over 3 times 5, which is equivalent to half multiplied by the difference of 1 over 3 and 1 over 5. Let's move on. For the next fraction, 1 over 35, that's equal to 1 over 5 multiplied by 7, which is also equal to 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 5 minus 1 over 7. I hope you can see the pattern emerging. And in fact, we can do the same thing all the way to the end where 1 over 143 is equal to 1 over 11 multiplied by 13, which is equal to 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 11 minus 1 over 13. Let's try to make use of this pattern. Again, let me copy down my fraction series. I have 1 over 3 plus 1 over 15 plus 1 over 35 plus 1 over 63 plus 1 over 99 plus 1 over 143 multiplied by A is equal to 12. So if we just focus on the fraction series and we make use of the pattern that we just established, I can actually write the fraction as a half multiplied by 1 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 7 minus 1 over 9 plus 1 over 9 minus 1 over 11 plus 1 over 11 minus 1 over 13 and that's equal to 12. If you look at what's within the bracket, we realize that the terms actually cancel each other. So I have negative 1 over 3 and positive 1 over 3 cancel each, canceling each other. 1 over 5 and 1 over 5 canceling each other. 1 over 7, 1 over 7, 1 over 9, 1 over 9, negative 1 over 11 and positive 1 over 11 will cancel each other. Essentially, what we are left is the beginning and the end. So what we have is actually a telescopic series where the middle terms cancelling each other and we are left with the front and the back, just like a collapsing telescope. So now what I have on the series can be simplified as 1 over 2 
multiply by a multiply by 1 minus 1 over 13 is equal to 12. From here, I have 1 over 2 multiply by a multiply by 6. I'm sorry, 12 over 13 is equal to 12. If we simplify the fraction, what I have now is 6a over 13 is equal to 12. a is equal to 26. And that's the answer to today's question. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Have a good day. God bless.